Okay. Ham and cheese omelet. Three eggs. I'm going to wash that off. Be right back. Here's what I got. Two pieces of Swiss. I just broke them in half. Two pieces of ham cheese, also cut in half. And stand by for delicious goodness. This is a uh, salsa from Sam's and uh, it is really good stuff. for this food and coffee. Mm. Oh yeah. Just get a chunk out of the middle where all the good stuff hides. Right here. Mm. Oh, I need to get up. Boy, that's good. That is a heck of a way to start the day. All right. Ham and cheese omelet. That's Swiss cheese, too, by the way. One more thing. One more thing. Barely even warm. Absolutely perfect. I am very happy with how this came out. I'm gonna attach this video to the omelet video just because I don't want to attract attention from the great googly uh, algorithm bots that turn your videos off or delete them. Here's a, a point to ponder. They're probably, in, in the very near future, going to start insisting that cars be electric. As a matter of fact, you got Ford building a new plant devoted specifically to electric cars. And they're pushing the electric cars all over this country and I think in other parts of the world as well. Now, while this is going on, simultaneously, they're now saying that there's going to be electricity shortages. They're saying, uh, well, our country uh, predominantly uses natural gas to power the electrical generating stations. You know, some use coal and some use nuclear, but uh, by and large, most of the electric producing facilities use 
natural gas. We are right here where I live. We are sitting over the largest pocket of natural gas in the world. And that's not any exaggeration. I live over the Haynesville Shale gas play. Not far, I say not far, but eight hours to my west, there's another area called the Permian Basin. South of me, by several hours, there's something called the Eagle Ford Shale. All these are massive, massive pockets of natural gas. There is simply is no reason for our country to be short of natural gas. Well, because we know that, they're saying that what there's a shortage of is people to haul it and work the fields. And whose fault is that? The government encouraging people to stay home with these incentives, these massive financial incentives for people to not leave their house and go to work. I am highly suspicious of uh, their reason. I do believe they want to make us as uncomfortable. I think it's twofold. They want to make us very, very uncomfortable so we'll be far more likely to accept draconian rules that we would not normally accept. I mean, you affect people's comfort level. You affect people's money. You affect people's ability to buy the food they want or in the amount they want. And second... I think they want to drive up the price of electricity. So when we do transition to electric cars, you'll have no choice but to pay that price or not drive your car. And uh, part B of that is they also have the ability to prevent you from going places if they turn your electricity off. I'm a suspicious little boy, aren't I? I've lived long enough to know that when they're rattling their right hand at you, you gotta watch their left hand. And uh, that's one of the reasons I wanted to get on this generator project. I uh, couldn't afford the generator, but I did it anyway. I can't afford all the other stuff that I needed for the generator, but I did it anyway. And, uh, you know, my wife and I, I won't go into detail, but we are making some serious progress on our preparations to live, I, I don't want to use the word off the grid, but uh, to live comfortably without benefit of the grid if we absolutely have to. Anyway, yeah, there's lots to think about, and uh, this is not the channel I want to talk about that on. You know, I have an Odyssey channel, I have a Rumble channel, I have a BitChute channel, I have a Brighteon channel, and uh, if I ever do a video where I talk at greater length or in greater depth about what I think is coming, I'll have to put it on one of those channels because I can't jeopardize my uh, YouTube channel here. I, uh, I need that few extra dollars. It's what pays for my medicine.